Christian Pillar Love brings salvation of all mankind. Christianity and Jesus Christ The Bible's book of Genesis describes God's creations of the heaven and the cards, then followed by the creation of the first human couple. Adam and Eve, to live in the Garden of Eden. God prohibited them from eating the fruit of the tree of knowledge. However, the couple violated his command and was expelled from the garden for punishment. Since then they bore many children who also inclined to evil. Seeing human beings, the offspring of Adam and Eve, grew more wicked. God decided to destroy the earth with the great flood however, he saw that Noah was a man of righteousness and gave him instructions on how to construct an ark for his family and two of each kind of animals. After all living creatures on earth were dead, leaving only the selected of God, the flood recoded. Noah and his family then started their lives as farmers, planting vineyards. It is believed that the sons of Noah were ancestors of three human races, namely the Caucasian, the white race, the Mongolian, the yellow race, and the Negro, the black race. His descendants, then, increased in mumber and filled the earth. Later, God appeared to Abraham, whose birth name was Abram, the son of Terah who belonged to the generations of Noah's son. Shem, to tell him to leave his country and go to the land God assigned to him and his lineage, the Israelites. Abraham had two sons, Ismael, ancestor of Arab people, and Isaac who had twin sons Jacob, later known as Israel, and Esau. Jacob, taking place of his twin brother, received the birthright and blessing from Isaac. After Marriage Jacob and his wife had twelve sons, the ancestors of twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph, the eleventh son, was sold into slavery in Egypt and, later, entered the service of Pharaoh. He, then, gained trust from Pharaoh and was assigned authority over Egypt. Due to famine, the Israelites, being helped by Joseph, started migrating to Egypt. The Israelites, known as the Hebrews at this time, were enslaved by the Egyptians for 400 years. Fearing of the increasing number of the Hebrews, Pharaoh ordered all boy babies born to the Hebrews killed by drowning in the Nile. A Hebrew mother, after giving birth to a boy baby, later known as Moses, kept her son hidden until she was no longer able to do. Rather than delivering her baby to death, she hid him by the side of the Nile in a small basket covered with bulrushes. Pharaoh's daughter, coming to the river for bathing, discovered the baby and decided to adopt him. His name Moses means being drawn out of the water. When Moses reached adulthood, God commanded him to lead the Hebrews out of Egypt to the land of Canaan or the Promised Land. With this God also revealed the Ten Commandments inscribed in two stone tablets to Moses. The Hebrew descendants settled in Canaan known as Israel country, after Moses' death. The Israelized tribes inherited from the lineage of Jacob were Levi, Benjamin, and Judah. This time also marked the period of King David. David was the great king of Israel who established Jerusalem as the capital of the kingdom. After his death, his son, Solomon, succeeded to the throne of Israel. Later, in the reign of King Herod, Israel was captured by the Roman Empire. During being under Roman colonization, Joseph, the carpenter who belonged to the royal lineage of King David. God engaged with Mary. Later, his fiancée became pregnant and gave birth to a son named Jesus. On the night of his birth, an angel appeared to the shepherds who were watching their flock in the field and heralded the advent of the Son of God. The shepherds, 
then, came to visit baby Jesus in a stable at the same night. When Jesus was twelve years, Joseph and Mary sent him to the temple where he learned among many scholars. After his baptism at thirty years old, he entered abstinence from food for forty days and nights. Later, B chose his twelve apostles and started teaching. Jesus also performed supernatural miracles in various occasions, e.g. healing people of leprosy, reviving the dead, etc. All of these confirmed his position as the Son of God. Jesus followed the law of Moses in the Old Testament in his teachings yet with some corrections, causing displeasure to Pharisees. Fearing of losing their disciples, the Pharisees accused Jesus of being an anti-government rebel who claimed himself as God. Jesus established the foundation of Christianity and helped many suffering people. After the three-year consistent teachings, Jesus had his last supper with the twelve apostles to commemorate the day when Moses led the Hebrews out of Egypt, foreseeing that he would be betrayed by one of his apostles. It was Judas who received a bribe to hand over Jesus. After Jesus was arrested the apostles cowardly ran away. Jesus, then, was crucified together with another two prisoners. After his crucifixion, his body was removed from the cross and buried in a rock-hewn tomb. Two days after his death, people came to visit the tomb to find that his body disappeared so they believed that Jesus came back to life and was up to heaven to sit at the right hand of Heavenly Father God. The apostles fleeing after Jesus was arrested came back. Among them, Peter announced himself as Jesus' disciple and sacrificed his life to spreading Jesus' teachings. He was regarded as Saint Peter whose title, later, became the name of the important church. The Papal Basilica of St. Peter, in Vatican City As for Judas, after feeling remorse and giving the bribe to the poor, he committed suicide by hanging himself.